Hello everyone. If you own an embroidery machine, you'll know that machine embroidery can be totally addictive because it's so easy to make gifts, personalize your home, or turn a plain piece of clothing into something totally unique. An embroidery machine is an expensive but worthwhile investment. But how can you get the most out of your machine? Well, today we're gonna share with you our best hints and tips to make sure the sewing is easier, the designs come out better, and you get great results every time. Number one, basting with water-soluble thread. You may have heard about water-soluble thread, but did you know it can make a huge difference in your machine embroidery? We've stitched out this design with two layers of stabilizer on the back side of the fabric. However, because the design has a lot of sharp points, it still creates a lot of puckering around it. To stop this from happening, we're going to stitch a circle of rinse and gone thread through the fabric and stabilizer before stitching out the design. This holds the layers together much more tightly in the embroidery hoop and will stop the fabric and stabilizer from shifting. You could also use your machine's built-in trace and baste feature. Once the design is stitched out, the thread can be scrubbed out with a wet toothbrush if you don't want to wash the whole embroidery. You can see how flat it looks in comparison to the embroidery design without the water-soluble thread. Number two, using the best bobbin thread. Machine embroidery uses a lot of dense stitching in a small area, meaning your choice of bobbin thread will make a huge difference in how flat your embroidery design sits, as well as how much the bobbin thread will show through. We highly recommend using a finer bobbin thread such as Decobob 80 weight because the fine thread doesn't add any extra bulk to the dense stitching and blends into the fabric better than a 40 or 50 weight would. In the left part of this embroidery, we used a white 50 weight bobbin thread. You can actually see the bobbin thread showing through the design. However, on the right, we switched to a white Deco Bob 80 weight bobbin thread. Even though the thread is white, it can't even be seen in the design. Simply changing your thread can make a huge difference in the quality of your machine embroidery, but you can still take it one step further. In the left half of this embroidery, we used a bobbin self-wound with Decobob 80 weight thread. On the right side, we used a pre-wound Decobob bobbin. You can actually see how the left side has larger breaks in the embroidery, while the right side lays flatter with tighter stitches. These pre-wound bobbins are wound perfectly even at the factory. This gives you a consistent machine tension that noticeably affects the quality of your machine embroidery. Number three, use a wonder guard for even tension and to prevent unraveling. A wonder guard is this handy little thread guard that can be used on any spool of thread that requires a vertical feed. To apply it to your spool, wrap it around the spool snugly but not tightly with the feed of the thread coming from the top. This is a perfect tool for slippery threads that tend to pool around the base of the spool. It will also even the tension of thread, which will make a huge difference in the quality of your machine embroidery stitches. If you're embroidering with metallic threads that have a curl to them, also known as having a high memory, it will help pull out those curls before it even comes off the spool. And as an added bonus, the Wonder Guard will keep your threads tidy, clean, and prevent them from drying out when you're not sewing with it. Number four, using a thread tamer for perfect tension. A thread tamer is a multi-purpose thread stand that offers a number of features to give you the best results in your stitching. If you're sewing with a metallic thread that has a lot of memory, you can weave the thread through the extender slots to help pull out the tangles before the thread even reaches your machine. At the same time, it's tall enough to clear the top of the machine so it doesn't drag along the side, changing the thread's tension. It also allows the thread to relax before entering the machine, which is beneficial for finicky threads or metallic threads. This combination of things will give your machine embroidery better tension, resulting in higher quality stitches. Follow these tips for gorgeous, professional looking machine embroidery with any home embroidery machine. Let us know in the comment section below if you have any machine embroidery tips that you always follow, or let us know what kind of video you'd like to see next. Make sure you give us a thumbs up if you like this video or hit subscribe for more great tips and tutorials. We'll see you next time.